Welcome Hoosier fans to this Monday edition of Banner Morning, your weekly rundown of IU basketball news and notes. I'm Dylan Wallace, and this week the focus is on Indiana's starting point guard. To start things out, we'd like to wish Rob Finnessy a happy belated birthday. Yesterday, the sophomore guard turned 20 years old. Happy birthday, Rob. One of the more intriguing storylines for this upcoming season is the growth of Finnessy from year one to year two. Finnessy really surprised a lot of people last season with his composure and poise as the team's starting point guard. Last season, Finnessy averaged 6.8 points per game, as well as about three rebounds and assists per game. Obviously, the highlights that stick out from last year was his buzzer beater to beat Butler at the Crossroads Classic, his career-high 17 points against Illinois, in which he also had five assists, and finally, his stifling defense against Big Ten Player of the Year, Cassius Winston, on the final possession of the game to secure the Indiana victory. Now, coming into this season, Archie Miller has said numerous times Finnessy knows what is expected of him, and Finnessy himself has said he needs to be more aggressive because it opens up the floor for his teammates. In last week's edition of Assembly Call Radio, Jared Morris was joined by Andy Bottoms and Ryan Phillips to talk about the importance of Finnessy this season. They said Indiana will go as Finnessy goes. They said they don't expect him to lead the team in scoring, but he needs to be able to knock down open three-pointers and take his opportunities when they present themselves. Finnessy didn't participate in Hoosier hysteria this year, but it's not because there was any serious injury, but rather precautionary reasons after the first week of practice per an IU spokesperson. When talking about Finnessy, it's easy to transition to one of his best friends in Romeo Langford, who hung out a lot with Finnessy over the summer and would sleep on his couch. After nearly eight months of recovering from surgery on his thumb, Langford returned to the court for the Boston Celtics, playing 11 minutes and scoring two points in a preseason win over the Orlando Magic. The two points he scored closely resembled the way Langford scored the game-winning basket in the two-overtime victory against Wisconsin last year, a little left-to-right crossover to get by the defender and then gliding in for an easy layup. Langford and the Celtics will start their season October 23rd against the Philadelphia 76ers, while Finnessy and the Hoosiers will play an exhibition game against Gannon on October 29th. For the links mentioned in this edition of Banner Morning, visit assemblycall.com. Remember to use the URL iutickets.shop to visit SeatGeek for the best prices on IU basketball tickets. That's iutickets.shop, promo code assembly, for $10 off your first purchase. We'll be back next week with the new edition of Banner Morning. Until then, keep your elbows in, your eyes on the rim, and go Hoosiers.